is histamine causing your anxiety? Now you may notice that your anxiety gets worse alongside your allergy symptoms, or you may even be unaware if histamine is an issue for you, let alone how it relates to your anxiety. Hi, I'm Kirsty Cullen, registered nutritional therapist at the Optimum Health Clinic. In this video, I'll explain what histamine intolerance is and share why histamine might be the root cause of your ongoing anxiety issues. Make sure you stay until the end of the video where I'll explain why some of your well-intended healthy food choices might be driving both increases in your histamine levels and also your anxiety. And finally, I'll share what you can do to avoid that. begin by exploring what histamine is. Now, simply put, it's a crucial chemical in our body which aids our immune response and helps us produce stomach acid, support our brain health, and even influences our appetite. All good things, right? On the flip side, though, we're all familiar with histamine's association with allergies and inflammation. The seasonal reach for antihistamine support is a common experience. So when does histamine become a problem? Well, to understand this, it's important to explain what histamine intolerance is. A histamine intolerance occurs when our ability to break down histamine in the body is affected. This results in a buildup of histamine, leading essentially to histamine excess and the inability to control our histamine balance. There are two key enzymes in the body which help us to clear histamine, diamine oxidase and histamine N-methyltransferase, or DAO, HNMT for short. A deficiency in these two enzymes can be the reason why we don't clear histamine out of the body effectively. Okay, so why might these enzymes be deficient? Now, this may be a genetic issue or the consequence of gut issues, nutrient deficiencies, or even hormonal transitions such as the menopause. And these latter elements can certainly be positively influenced by diet and nutritional therapy work, so do keep watching for some superb tips later. There are also situations when the body might be producing more histamine than usual. Imbalances in our gut bacteria or conditions in the gut such as SIBO can result in an overproduction of histamine in the gut which quickly has an impact on the rest of the body. So the health of our gut is an essential component of our histamine balance. So what happens when we have histamine intolerance? Well, simply put, it can lead to a shopping list of symptoms, mainly due to the fact that we have histamine receptors located literally all over the body, including our gut, skin and nasal passages, and even our nervous and circulatory systems. Now, some of these will come as no surprise. For example, sneezing, eczema, and nasal congestion, the classic seasonal histamine symptoms we all know too well. But other symptoms here might be more surprising because you might never have associated them to your histamine levels before. For example, dizziness, nausea, a fast heart rate, or constipation. Now you might be wondering how all this relates to your anxiety. Research suggests that one of the top symptoms of histamine intolerance is actually generalized anxiety. This is likely to be because we have histamine receptors both in the brain and the gut, both of which have a governing role in mood balance. So logically speaking then, if we can optimize our histamine balance, then we can positively impact on our anxiety. So let's discuss how your nutrition can help or hinder the histamine balance game. Three key areas that you and your nutritional therapist can work on together are one, a histamine friendly diet. And here there are also three things to be aware of. Those foods that are high in histamine, those foods that can trigger the release of histamine, and those foods that can hinder the activity of our DAO enzyme. There are some surprises on this food list, as you will see. There are many healthy foods here, many of which you may be eating with totally good intentions, but actually you may unknowingly be influencing your histamine balance. 
Equally, some foods will trigger some people and not others. So it's really important to realize that exclusion of all of these foods is not necessary. You can work with one of our practitioners here at OHC to construct a nutrition plan which avoids some of the key trigger foods for you whilst continuing to access other healthy foods. Second on our list is your gut health, which is absolutely key. Remember that imbalances in your gut bacteria can lead to histamine production in the gut, so promoting optimal gut health can be really important. A word of advice though, it might be a natural assumption to think, well, fermented foods are excellent for supporting gut bacteria and therefore you include them in your diet. But actually fermented foods are typically high in histamine, so we may need to think of an alternative in this case. DAO, that important histamine breakdown enzyme, is also negatively impacted by inflammation in the gut or if the gut lining or gut wall is damaged. So it can be really helpful to have a practitioner guide you through a protocol which optimizes both your microbiome and your gut integrity. And number three, finally, speaking of DAO, we can effectively support this enzyme naturally with our diet. Kidney contains high levels of DAO and also pea sprouts or seedlings produce DAO too. So either can easily be added into your diet and your OHC practitioner can share some simple advice about how you grow your own pea sprouts at home. We can also arrange histamine testing for you and recommend a supplement protocol which will support improved histamine balance. Ultimately, exploring your histamine status may be a helpful way to improve not just your anxiety, but your overall health and well-being. If you would like to find out more about OHC, our frameworks and protocols, please do visit the optimumhealthclinic.com website to request a free discovery call.